Okay, so this activity is called Ball Toss Name Game. And it's a really fun way to get groups engaged. Uh, we often start a lot of our classes with this. Or it's also a good activity if you've got an ongoing class that's maybe meeting all day to do something like this after lunch to get everybody, um, you know, more awake and alert. So it's, it's really fun. Um, and usually we would do a circle of about 10 to 15 people. So if you've got you know, a larger group, you break them up into groups of 10 or 15 people. Um, and you have to make sure you have enough room, you know, to, to do this. Sometimes we've taken it out like in the hallways and things right. like that. So whatever works for you. And so what we want to do is this ball needs to stay lit all the time. Okay, so if you get it and it's not lit, you need to bounce it, okay? And so all we're going to do is learn each other's names. And I will say to, I'll, I'll throw it to Maureen to start. And I would say, I'll throw it and I'll say, here, Maureen, and she would say, thank you, Catherine, okay? The only thing you really have to remember is who threw the ball to you, okay? You just really make sure you, you remember that, okay? Who you got the ball from, that's all you need to know, okay? So I'll go first, I'm gonna throw it to Maureen. And so, oh, and then nobody can get the ball more than once, okay? So you can only toss it to somebody that hasn't already had it. Okay. okay, here Maureen. Thank you, Catherine. Now when you get the ball, if you look around and you're like, oh, I don't know anybody's name, it's fine just to ask, okay? So I would just say, oh, I forgot your name. What was your name again? Greg. Okay, so say, here, Greg. And you thank say, you. thank you, Maureen. Yes, there you go. Okay, so you get to pick someone else to throw it to. Okay. Here, Sean. Thank you, Greg. Here, Caleb. Thank you, Sean. Here, Alicia. Thank you, Kayla. Here, Melissa. Thank you, Alicia. Here, Catherine. Thank you, Alicia. Melissa. Melissa. <laughs> okay, Alicia, so that was pretty easy, right? And what did I say we had to remember? Who threw you the ball? Who threw me the ball? So I will throw it back. We're going to do the same thing, but backwards, okay? Here, Melissa. Thank you, Catherine. Here, Alicia. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, here, Kayla. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 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 balls not alive. Okay. Here, Sean. Thank you, Kayla. Here, Greg. Thank you, Sean. Here, Maureen. Thank you, Greg. Here we go. Here, Catherine. Thank you, Maureen. Okay, so that went really well, right? Okay, so let's do it again. Same exact rules. Nothing's changed, but we're going to kick it up a little bit, okay? And I would just say on a side note that sometimes when you have a larger group, people will forget that who threw it to them. Right, exactly. So, yeah. yeah, but that's yeah. part yeah. of the whole, okay. when okay. we process things and okay. stuff. So yes, it's, don't, don't expect this to go uh -uh. real smoothly. <laughs> no. okay. okay, here Maureen. Thank you, Catherine. Here Greg. Thank you, Maureen. Here, Sean. And I said we're going to kick Greg. it up. Here Maureen. Thank you, Catherine. Here Greg. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Maureen. Here Alicia. Here, Thank, Thank you, Here Maureen. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. So that went really well, okay? But what will happen with your larger groups and you know people that aren't, huh? I see it getting crazy. Yeah, it can get it's really, crazy. really crazy, and you'll have balls on the ground, and you know you'll have them rolling around, and especially if you do it with teenagers, they'll deliberately like throw them far away. Um, and so you really want to stop people and say, okay, what's happening now? What's What's hard? What was the only instruction? The only instruction was for me to throw it to you, say your name, say thank you, you to say thank you, and to remember who threw it to you. And if I just do that, if I ignore all this other chaos and I just say, I want Maureen to catch this ball, I'm going to throw it well to her. So you can tie it into team building. Like, I really want her to succeed at catching all these balls. So I'm going to, there, Maureen, and when things... Thank you, Catherine. And, like, when things were getting too fast, you know, maybe you stop for a while and wait for people to catch up. You know, you want to pick up the things that are on the ground. I, I, I use seven balls because I teach a lot of um, seven habit stuff. Um, and so I'll tie it into the habits. Okay, look what we forgot over here. You know, this is first things first. What, how are we going to manage without doing our first things first, you know? What if this was beginning with the end in mind, you know? And so you want to tie, you can tie, actually tie the objects into what particular classes that you're teaching. And maybe you've got um, a 10 session group or something. You would, might want to have 10 balls and talk about that and communication and team building, cooperation, and the idea of win-win. I really want, if I really want her to catch the ball, I'm going to throw it really well. 
sometimes when I got the ball, I don't know about you, it was just like coming my way. I didn't even know it was coming. You know, it's like, oh, where is it? And ended up on the ground. So it's just a really fun way to get people, well, to learn each other's names and also to have a lot of fun while doing it. And then you can tie the discussion into really any, any workshop you're teaching. Do you, do you have any? Yep, you that's great. That? Okay, any questions or comments or... Uh, but you can really kick it up. Like you were saying, you all use cows that moo. I mean, not real cows, but okay. And so, you know, any just fun, different things are, are really, really good. And, and then uh, for people like us that travel, we have learned not to take these kind of balls through security. So, <laughs> so don't do that. I would say there, there is a variation, yeah. too, okay. on this site on this, which is about if you're working with people and talking about brain development and how we learn things, what you can do is get your group to really have the pattern down. Like our pattern was Catherine to me, me to Greg, Greg to Sean, Sean to Kayla, Kayla was to Alicia, Alicia was to Melissa. So you get that down, you do that like for five minutes to where it's ingrained and it kind of works better if you have a bigger group again. And then what you do is you gather all the balls back and you, you go really quick into, okay, we're doing it again, but now we're throwing it to someone new. So the patterns all mm. switched up. And what happens is that after I've done this like a hundred times, grabbed it from Catherine, thrown it to Greg, after I've done that like hundreds of times, that becomes the natural for me. So then if all of a sudden I have to stop and catch it from Melissa and throw it to Alicia, it, I'm having to learn something new. And you can talk to people about how hard it is to learn new things and that's actually what's happening in your brains when you learn things one way and then you have to stop and relearn them a different way you're trying to reprogram the brain. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so it, that's it for that activity. All right.